Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to Better Quake Than Never. Welcome back to Twitch giving CV Maniac failure to download errors, nothing has changed. Uh, Twitch is still doing Twitch things. Anyway, we are moving into some interesting uh, packs with uh, the Jump Mod pack that uh, includes Triune Discovery, which is the set of levels it was released with, uh, followed by January Jump Jam 2020, which uses this Jump Mod as a base, but this is going to serve as our introduction to it. This is a pack by JCR, Jose Carlos Rodriguez. Um, we have played a few JCR maps before, so this is not our first time seeing his work. Uh, and I've been pretty impressed with what I've seen of it so far, so this should be pretty cool. Um, now, this is also not our first time seeing this mechanic. I'm pretty sure... I don't know whether it was in Arcane Dimensions or in something else, but I know we've seen the jump boots before. I just can't remember where exactly we saw it. Uh, but that is the mechanic that this centers around. This is what started the whole jump boots thing that gives you the double jump. Um, and I think there's a newer version that gives you a triple jump even. Uh, I forget whether that's in, if, whether that's only in the newer January Jump Jam of 2022, which I will not be playing along with these. I will be playing that later because my understanding is that is also alkaline based. So I definitely don't want to put that ahead of Alkaline itself, and Alka Alkaline is currently towards the end of my two playlist, as it is currently written. So, uh, if anything, I should add that to the end of the list, the, uh, the 2022 January Jump Jam. Uh, I should add that at the end after Alkaline. But, uh, for the time being, we're gonna focus on the Jump Mod itself first, and then we will look at the first of the January Jump Jams after that. Speed typing hands curse you. <laughs> Yo, anytime that I'm on a Zoom call or something, even if I'm not sharing my screen, my rate of typos just goes through the roof for some reason. And I can't type anymore. Um, anyway, opening the README for Triune Discovery, let's take a look through this. Uh, I, I guess it's laying out the titles of the maps here. Test of Ancients, Excavated, Atop the Forbidden Mountain, Central Processing, Edge of a Forgotten Monument. Uh, so three of them are Triune 1, 2, and 3.bsp, and then there's two that are JB Demo 1 and 2, I guess for Jump Boots demos. Uh, this does have a start map, though, so I'm assuming that everything that we're intended to play will be laid out for us. Oh, also, I forgot to turn on things in my overlay. There we go. We need to see the timer for what we're going to be doing. Um, the description says the Troyan Mountains are home to a long-abandoned group of temple shrines and offering sites. An ancient civilization used this mountain range as a place of religious gathering and large-scale sacrifice. This ancient civilization constructed a series of challenges to offer a righteous and strong warrior their greatest technology or die desperately in their vain attempts. Uh, JCR has a Twitch channel and a YouTube channel. Both of them are JCR9001. And there's also a teaser trailer posted on YouTube for this. But we're not going to watch that. I don't want any kind of spoilers. I don't know how, how spoilery it is. Uh, let's see. Yep, this is a standalone thing that's played out of its own folder under the Quake folder. It does have difficulty settings implemented. There are three sequential maps and two extras that can be played out of order from the start menu. So that's what the, the two demo maps are then. Build time, uh, base was new from scratch. Build time is about six months while learning Quake C, among other tools. Uh, he used Trench Broom for it. Uh, in terms of texture wads, it uses Mayan SM, Q, Kuhu 1. We're gonna see Kuhu textures again, it's been a while. Uh, JF OB Tex. UW Jam Vine, uh, AB Aztec, Id Base Ultimate. I'm not sure what half of these are, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, and it was tested with Quake Spasm. And 
and it requires Jump Mod 2.0, which I imagine is what this ships with, and it requires Protocol 999, which auto exec includes when you unpack this. And I'm pretty sure I have that set in my auto exec as well. Uh, Alright. Additional resource credits, progs, new item, jump boots, adds air jump ability, double jump, which can be incremented up to quad jump by collecting more of them. Oh, so triple jump is already a thing in this. Uh, super jump boots, same as previous, but with infinite air jumping for a limited time. Oh boy, so it's practically the Wings of Wrath from Heretic. Uh, one-handed typing, I hate having to do that. One-handed typing feels bad for me. I need to use both hands. Audio, many new sounds created by me, mixed and heavily modified from existing Quake and AD sound effects. Okay, so this did reuse some stuff out of Arcane Dimensions then. Uh, Skyboxes, Problem Child by Pete, and Moon High by the, AD, the Arcane Dimensions team. Uh, music, Q-Track 5 aka Aztec by Mortal Max. Freight Flight by Fron... I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Franz Kettes and Lutz Thuns? I'm going to totally... I'm sorry in advance for butchering that. Uh, which is from the album Friends of Ambient 30, Creative Commons license. In Peace by TT Ram and Let's Thuns from Friends of Ambient 30 again. Apparently there's a whole set of these Friends of Ambient uh, lessons, so they're uh, rather Friends of Ambient tunes, so uh, he's got a bunch of stuff from that. And then a couple of Immorpher tracks, Rissynth and Toxa. I can't pronounce that either. Uh, we got gracious thank you to the following, Sock for assistance in fixing up the original jump mod code, and... Oh! So maybe... Maybe I did see it in Arcane Dimensions, and this is actually a newer version than what was in Arcane Dimensions. Uh, Greenwood for testing and employing infinite patience. Uh, Yoder for testing and suggestions. Dump truck for testing. Metal Slime for Rubicon 2, QC, Source, Monsters, Textures, and Map Resources. Oh, are we going to see Rubicon 2 things in here? A more for, for Music. Uh, New House for Conversation and Suggestions. Vonder and Then for Textures. Okay, so some of those texture packs we may have seen before. Because I played some things by Vonder and Then. And thank you to the various other texture artists. And that's about it for the readme. So there was a little bit of lore, not a whole lot. There might be more as we get into this, let's find out. But, uh, in my very quick initial testing, this is definitely, uh, not gonna look like Vanilla Quake. If anything, it might look vaguely, like, reminiscent of Hexen 2 or something. Uh, but let me... This has a start map, so I'm just gonna go through the menu to get to it, and we'll start the timer, and here we are. So there's a door up there that I don't know how to get to. These steps are the moderate path. This is the arduous path, so this is hard difficulty, I presume. Yeah, now I'm at skill two. I think all of the paths at these switches anyway. I guess this is supposed to be easy then. Oh, yeah, there's a ladder. Why would you make a ladder the easy path? Ladders are impossible, man. I never see ladders. All right, so now the question is, where's Nightmare? Is this anything? Oh yeah, it sure is. There will be no turning back. The path of Nightmare selected. Does that mean I seriously can't change skill now? Yeah, all the other triggers are gone. Alright, well then we're restarting, because I'm not actually going to play on Nightmare. We're going to play on Normal. Because I'm not sure what to expect out of this, and I kind of want to enjoy the mechanics more so than... have to deal with... Oh, there's a switch over here. have to deal with, like, a ridiculous amount of enemies. Nightmare is other people. <laughs> Eh. Uh, there's spikes down there, so don't jump over there. Uh, okay. It didn't say one more to go. Enter the pit to begin your trials. Whoa, what the- um... Alright, I accidentally played pinball. 
Oh, and then, yeah, you, you continue right down here. Okay. We got more sliding things. There's your jump boots. Try jumping while in midair. Right. There's only five enemies in here? Okay. Uh... I'm apparently not supposed to go there. Oh, yes I am. There's also 11 secrets. Oh wow, that closes really fast. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Can I open it again from this side? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I mean, some of the texture packs said Aztec in them explicitly, so not surprised by that, at least. Try a mid-air jump to break your fall. What? Break my fall from where? Stuck. Guess I'll die then. Yeah, that's just damaging floor. That's what you're supposed to do. You gotta be kind of particular about the timing on that. moment to do an air drop. I don't think they mean from there. Okay, well that needs a key that I don't have. thing stuck is your mind. So I guess each of those things gives you uh, different text and hints. I guess I'm going that way. That's technically a secret? Okay. It's very loud in here. I don't know that I want to go there yet. See if there's anything over here first. I get the impression there are many points of no return in these maps. trials of weight. Hey, Corporal Gamer. Take a quick memory of Ancestor's past. I'm doing okay. I tried Deep Rock Galactic for the first time earlier since it's got a free weekend going, and I can definitely see why people like it. 
It's not, <clears throat> not really my kind of thing, though, I think. What the? Huh. Oh, that's a that's a platform. Okay, but how do I how do I get up to where I can make use of that? At least I guess it's a platform. Can I actually reach that from here? Oh, I can. Didn't that count as the first jump? There we go. And now what? I oh, there's like a cutout in the corner there. Okay. Touch the ground to recharge your jump. Right. I don't know why that? <laughs> I don't know why that glitched out like that. Side. Oh, okay. I do have the key for that. Oh, okay, so we're back here now. And then that just immediately has the other key. Strong enemies await you. Totally didn't notice that guy, and now I'm almost dead. more health if I drop down again. I mean, if I do this, I have to go throughout the entire place again, but... But I kind of needed the health. Yeah, the, uh, the aesthetic they chose to do for this is pretty interesting. only find one out of 11 secrets. You've got to be kidding me. I don't remember that.
Okay, so how the hell did I miss ten secrets? That's a little disconcerting. Oh, also there's more health right here. I Did I go up there before? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, because I went up here and then I double jumped. I can. Well, shit. <laughs> That's not a secret. It was pretty funny, though. actually change the puzzles? I mean, I guess it's possible. Well, depending on how long it takes us, we can try replaying it to see if it changes anything. Oh shit. Well. Now I have to redo all that to get the armor again. This is one thing I haven't figured out. There's like something under here. This says it opens from the other side. And how the heck would you get down there? there's seriously something down there, which I highly doubt. I did save now, though. No, I don't think so. Is there anything else worth doing down here? curious about that. Maybe that's what it was talking about with the uh, absolute last moment or something. secret area. Huh. 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 
Oh, those flames actually hurt. Okay. I did wonder if there would be something else here. It's like... It, Alright, so it's nice to know there's a way to get back out. It, it would be nice if I could get across that. Yeah, I guess I have to completely redo this. That's not what I wanted. That's right, this is where I started. Okay. I fucked that up. So now I get to redo all that. But I was about to redo it anyway, so... God, stop screwing that up. I keep bonking that thing over there. Ceiling switches is seriously funny, though. Oh, I can land here. Okay. I want to know if I can get up there. Or is that... That's where I started anyway. I guess that wouldn't make sense. Like, that was pre the beginning of the level. So, yeah. I haven't gotten any explosive weapons, so I don't think I can get back out there. There's no way to submerge there. find more secrets than that. Okay, I'm waiting until the last moment to do an air jump. I don't know what it's referring to with that. Oh, there's stuff up there. Hang on. Am I supposed to be able to get to that from here? One thing stuck is your mind. Is that what that's talking about? I'm wondering if there's like an invisible platform here or something. I'm 
also wondering about like the the chunks out of the wall. Like after playing uh, the Turbo Overkill demo yesterday, I feel like I want to be able to wall run on that. But I don't think that's a thing. I'd like to get all the way up there, but that's not going to happen. Alright, that's not a thing. I have no idea how I would go about getting over there. One that bugs me the most is the underwater grate. Like, I really want to understand how the heck you're supposed to open that one. So if there were anything I would still want to try to figure out, it would be that. Have I been down there? Oh, there's spikes here, too. This is how you get down there. It sure is. And that's the bio suit. That's not even a secret. The hell? out of here without suffocating. Yeah. So if that doesn't even count as a secret anyway, well, whatever I guess. Let's move on. Okay, are we squarely in base territory now? I like this music already. Lockdown in progress. Yeah, that switch has seen better days. That needs a key. I guess. Oh, this, the switch needs a key. Okay. They, they knew I was coming, so they put the silver key card icon in every place imaginable. And they also put lights on their ladder. Silver card area closed due to fire. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess this is where those ambient uh, albums came in. As above, so below. Hey, we've had a secret that had exactly that wording back in uh, Candles of the Damned. I gotta say, I haven't heard a quake pack with music like this before either. Seek the Grand Dragons. Yeah, right, the new Jump Jam uses, uh... Well, the 2022 Jump Jam uses Alkaline. The 2021, I would imagine, doesn't, but I also... I don't know what, what theme the 2020 Jump Jam uses. But yeah, that's also why I don't intend to play the 2022 Jump Jam yet. Because I want to play Alkaline first. above so below thing? Was that this? Okay. Uh, oh, that lets me get back to where I started. Okay. up that health. That would be a huge waste. Alright, there's armor up there. The first January Jump Jam was worked on from Jump Mod and Rubicon 2. Okay. Even this mentioned Rubicon 2 in, like, the, the thank you section. Oh, that's nice. Wait, that was not nice. Oh, we got the- I told you, this one's ba this one's got Rubicon in it, too. We got the robots. Explain to me how not only did the dude jib, but so did his platform. The sausage bot. They're totally at a Super Metroid. Okay, that was weird. I got stuck going around this way before. Uh, alright, can we go up there? Barely. And imagine being able to actually climb on big crates because you have double jump. Oh. 
Congratulations, you missed. That's probably the easier way to do it, is just bonk into it from below. Uh... Oh, I've been up here already. That's an interesting tree, though. And there's more stuff up there. That's what I was trying to remember, is like, what other packs have I had double jump in? And was Arcane Dimensions the... the only one? Looks like there's something there I could potentially land on, but there's also that. And I'm not really sure how I would get over there. Wait a minute. This is how. This is lower. So there was totally a ladder. It was right there. I was supposed to be able to get there from here, I think. Well, we still have no secrets. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to go through this door that we opened before. A lot of pew pew. Also says the answer is up. There's a lot of nails in here. There are more torches there, but those are lit, and I'm not sure how I feel about trying to land on one. Oh wait. Oh shit. Okay, so we can do the same thing on this side. I tried to... I tried to jump that before I landed, but it didn't happen. Wait, what? Oh, more jump jutes. What did that say? Jump mod added. It didn't add a new line after that. That's kind of funny. Yeah, so now I have triple jump. That's a key card. Also, I have almost no shells left. Holy crap. 
the, the toy box set of maps was pretty interesting. It definitely felt like an unfinished idea. But it was neat to see sort of like the beginnings of a, like, you know, Mario 64-esque or Spyro-esque experience in Quake. One hell of a breeze. There's pegs up there. Oh, can't quite get up there. What if... There you go. Alright, I should probably... grab this key now. The temple door is below. the gold key is needed for. I'm gonna end up wasting this freaking mega health. Because I still want to explore stuff up here. Can I land on that? I can. Alright, that's interesting. Could I have done that for this too? Seems unlikely. Alright, what about getting up to these? That seems very unlikely. I'm not sure what purpose it would serve anyway. There's definitely stuff all the way up there, though. There's also stuff over here. Whoa! Jeez. I bonked on that. Uh, ow. Well, I told you I'd be wasting the mega health. I suppose I could reload it. Since all I actually did was that. What did that. What sound did that make? Because that made it sound like something opened, but I'm not sure why that would have been a thing. Switch was down there. So what opens when I get this? Oh, it's just telling you that's what I didn't realize that raised that down arrow. Telling you that like, yeah, if you want to go do progression things, it's down there. Ooh, that could work. Alright, this is interesting. Oh, that's what the one hell of a breeze is supposed to be out about. It stops you from going outside the map. There's no aw shit moment over here. Oh wait, maybe over here there is. Oh, uh, what? No message? Alright. I was hoping for another message. Alright, we already got to that. Is there no point to being out here? Seems like there's no point to being here. I don't know if I can get back from here anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's just a cut out here. Okay. I thought there might have actually been something there. Is there anything else I wanted to check out before going back? Is that a bunch of flamethrower dudes? No, they're firing. They're firing blasters. Plenty of nail ammo throughout, so I should probably be relying on that more. Do you really need more advice? No, I just want to read all the things. Huh. 
This one doesn't even say anything. Two more to go, huh? Oh. You always gotta look for those ceiling switches. They do like those in this. Where was all the other nail gun ammo that I found before? I know I found a bunch. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the switch I hit before. Okay. Yeah, that's true. We haven't found a single explosive weapon yet, either. Oh yeah, isn't there a... yeah, there's a bunch of that. Everything is like, if you're stuck, look up. If you're stuck up, we can't help you. Hello. All these guys sticking their tongue out at me. one of the floating things. for that because I've been picking it up off the enforcers. Have I been down there? I have been down here. This was where the uh, start of this section was. Okay, but now I need to go back through the whole thing. I might be able to sequence break it and just go back up. Yeah. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. Reach for the clouds. Actually, I gotta jump through that thing. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I do. He's like, go that way. 
Can I jump on top of this thing? I'm really curious. That's really cool textures on this thing that you totally can't make out until you get close enough. Also, it looks vaguely like an exclamation point. I don't think I can get high enough to jump on top of that thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was trying to shoot me through. Damn, it's still only two secrets in that, though. That's a cool map. I feel like I should find one or two more secrets, though. Also, wasn't there an entire other key door that I didn't go through? Like, didn't I only find the gold key? Wasn't there... At the very beginning of this map, there was a silver door. Right here. So, there's still shit to do in this map. Unless we come back to it, which I highly doubt, because that's not really how Quake works. That was actually, going back to talking about the toy box thing, that was one of the things that really didn't work out well with it, was it required you to revisit the same maps multiple times, and because of how Quake works, you'd have to re-kill all the enemies and whatnot, too. Can I not get up there? I can get up there. There's nothing up here anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to find the other key card. I wonder if that's supposed to be a hint. Like, am I supposed to be able to get in there? been up there? I think I have. Yeah, I've definitely been up there. Oh god, I missed the fucking ladder. Jeez. There was a switch there? Uh, I didn't see what was actually the switch there. Uh, wait, that didn't open- oh, that opened that, okay. Not what I was expecting or hoping for. It's a secret area with thunderbolt ammo that I don't need. Got the triple jump. 
Oh yeah, wasn't I not able to get over there because I kept bonking something? I don't even know what I was bonking before. Gifts are closer than you think. Yeah, I mean, there's one behind you. I think it's another Thunderbolt. There's an armor down there. And there's a switch here. Oh. I don't know if I like that, because those things are how I got across to here. Oh, also there's totally a thing up here. Okay, so there's another secret area. Okay, yeah, I don't need that armor. And that just comes up here. I am curious whether there's something on top of that. Have I gone in that water? Oh, that's just a torch. Uh, huh, there's another ladder over there. Oh, there's protruding things to get there. Alright. These are the things that I was on before. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Crap. Ow. There we go. That is a weird ladder. Here's the silver key. We got it. And yes, it is a secret area. That is not a switch. That is not a switch. Wow, look at how much higher we are now. The tree uh, aspect is interesting. Can I get on top of the crane thing over there? That would be also interesting. But yeah, this is getting me really hyped to see, like, what other people have done with this, because, like, just as a point of inspiration, this map is really freaking cool. I already got to that, right? That was the, uh, the mega health that I slope jumped from here. Yeah, okay. Let's go see what's through the silver key door, I guess. down here, too. I had never actually gone down here. There are still enemies left, and here they are. Super secret area found. Well, we got rockets. Where there's rockets, there ought to be a rocket launcher or something. Yep, we got explosives now. And that's six out of eight secrets. I think I'm okay with that. Hey, hang on. What did that do? I didn't hear a darn thing. I 
don't even know where I just picked up rockets, but okay. Possibly done. Was this here before? I don't know. It's not counting as a secret. So I'm guessing it was there before. I've killed everything at this point. without a lift bomb. Alright, I think I'm okay with moving on now. Oh, that's, that's, that's really janky. I keep bonking my head against the ceiling because the wind starts before you clear it. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Free fall damage right when you start. This is some, like, Dusk E3 kind of shit. Because... Oh, I didn't mean to save over that. Well, oh well. It's down here. I don't actually know what the point of that was. It just brought me back to where I was anyway. This is called Atop the Forbidden Mountain. Oh, wait. This isn't about what's over here, this is about what's over here. You know, seeing platforming stuff like this kind of gives me... Th th combined with the theme, Kinda gives me Turok vibes. Okay, is that... I think that's the end of it. I need to get back. You gotta be careful that your momentum takes you where you want it to and that you don't bonk something. The bridge is out, but that doesn't matter. Well, if you thought there were Indiana Jones vibes before, I think this about takes the cake. So this sure is some music. Is this a more for music? It could be. That's a vibe. We do have enemies in this. That lava that oh no! It's the I've fallen and I can't get up robot. They did include it. Unfortunately, it's having a worse time than usual. It's it's the Krokemeyer version of the I've fallen and I can't get up robot. I'm gonna have to show EI later. Oh no, there's even two of them. I really hope they don't put Kthon in this for some stupid reason.
you're a flamethrower. You are dead. Alright. Uh. That looks bad. There's another one. There's just... I've fallen and I can't get up robots all over the darn place in this. Oh, okay, we got platforms up there now. something? Yep, it sure did. I don't know if I want to go through this yet. Oh, that's how you get the key. Okay. Interesting. So the one thing I'm curious about is there's got to be a point to this hole. This has got to be a break your fall thing. Is that ground down there? That might be ground. I think it's only on the one side. There, it looks like there's something on that side, too, but I can't tell. Mm. Yep. Your faith has brought you here. Okay, what was the lift noise, though? There's, there were two secret thunderbolts in the previous map. There's another one here. Okay, this is the one. Okay, this Alright, well, we have the key for that now. But then what's over here? I can't believe I overshot that. That's got to be fake, right? Or there's two silver doors? Also, that must open when you take that, but I can't take it right now. Touch the silver pillars. Okay, so you do need to. The fuck? Oh, there's freaking spikes on the ceiling, too. Uh, so going with the Super Metroid theme, this, uh, when viewed from this angle, could pass for a giant spore spawn. Alright, I was really expecting that thing to open. Like, what's the deal with that, then? Do I have to come back before 5pm? Oh, water. Okay. Is that a blood water texture? Because it kind of reminds me of that. Alright, so, first question. I mean, there are obviously spikes down there. But... What else is down here? I didn't really want to go up... Here, though. I wanted to go. Uh -oh. Okay, it does come back down. Good. So those health packs don't count as a secret. Hang on a sec. So this is where I came from, but there's totally another switch here. What's the deal with that? Oh, that's what opens that. Okay. Is 
Does that just open it again, I guess? Yeah, that just opens it again. Okay. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the elevator went down again. That's awkward. Surprise! Nail traps everywhere. That's, that's part of why I didn't want to play this on hard, is like... I expected this to be more exploration-based than combat-based. And yeah, the, uh, the Aztec theme certainly, uh... Gives the Indiana Jones vibe. Opens nearby. Well, there's also that. There's also a key down there. There's something in the water. And is this another grenade launcher? I did that not open? Oh yeah. too far in any particular direction. I was, I was trying to not jib him, but that just wasn't going to happen. It's funny, when I get involved in combat, I tend to forget about the double and triple jump. Right, that's where we need where we need this the gold key for, and who knows there might be two of them like the other one. What you've come for awaits you. I don't know. What have I come for? More jump boots? Interesting wall patterns here. What oh you're right there. This way. Well, wait. First, I never did look in here. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's this way, right? I think there's a point to being up here. reveals a demon. It's gonna be Kthon, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be Kthon. <laughs> God damn it, I hate that I called that, too. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that can- oh, it only goes up temporarily. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, so I kind of want to inspect this room to understand... Ah, uh, yes, there are. Okay. It is, it is the usual Khan fight, but with double jumps. Uh, shouldn't that have... The technology above... Yeah, I already used it, and I, ex I expected it to work. Now I'm half dead. It might be time. That still didn't do anything. Why is it not doing anything? I am very confused. The button that should do the zapping is not doing anything. Oh, wait. Because the button that does the zapping is this one. Is it still on a cooldown? That was close. Now do I have to hit the other button again? There seems to be one more button involved than usual. Oh, uh, we got... We got Frisbee boys. I'm not sure if I actually stepped on that. He didn't get hit for some reason. I'm dead. That sucks. I think there's just a, a, a timeout before you can press it again. So you can't actually do it too fast. Shit, that killed my momentum. Okay, he arguably actually helped. That didn't fucking work for some reason. I'm just gonna do it over again. Unfortunately, it's the Cathan fight, so it still manages to be more annoying than anything else. Despite them trying to make it interesting. I just gotta freaking run around and waste time waiting for these buttons to reset. Uh, okay. Surprise, we found the end of the level. Killing the <laughs> I was aiming at the one that was already dead. Oops. Hey, Prime. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I hope this can't be... I, can't, I hope you can't just skip to the end of the level if you get boosted up there. I actually got all the secrets in this level. Really? Huh. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. So, this should be the end of the actual campaign. I missed some enemies. Okay. Now, the reason I am not f stopping the timer is there's a couple of other maps still left. 
You have faced the multitude of trials, explored the deepest reaches of the Triune Mountains in Sector Z1128B, and conquered its hostile inhabitants. New heights are no match for you. Funny. Several millennia and light years away from home, you enter the slip gate to the other dimensions which await you. So there's supposed to be two more maps accessible from the start map. I have to figure that might be related to one of them. But... I don't know how you get to them, given that you don't have jump boots. Start. Wow, we, we're getting spam messages? Really? Cool. Eh. Okay, I didn't even push the button on that one. Oh, wait, that's because it moved. There we go. Let's actually get rid of that one. So, is there a way to get over here? Maybe from over here. Oh, hang on. Huh, I wonder where these will take me. Alright, so this is your extra levels. These are like independent demo levels. Two central logistics. And to Realm C2884. Alright, let's go to this one first, since it's on the ground level. Also, wait a minute, there's two secrets on the start map? One of them was Nightmare, I imagine. But did that account for both of them? Okay, there's enemies, there's secrets. This looks like a recolor, potentially, of a quake texture. Uh, are we in Death Stranding now? I see a lot of, uh, boxes. Either that or Castaway. More to go. This, uh... I'm assuming this might be... And more for music, and it certainly gives off a Doom 64 vibe with all the fog and whatnot. Doom 64 a lot more than you thought you would have. Yeah, I suppose I could say the same. I mean, it helps that, you know, the last time I played it was the PC re-release, and, uh, I tend to find those controls more enjoyable. It's a little easy to get stuck on the sloped terrain here. Oh, I- wait. I don't remember explicitly picking up jump boots, but I have the jump boots again. Did I wick did I pick them up without- did it just, like, give them to me right at the start, or did I run over them without realizing it? Because the message is there in the console. Alright. That, that's a mood in there. There's totally- there's a rocket launcher up there. Got him. That guy could not hit me at all. He was hitting this other zombie over here. And 
we're getting triple jump. The shortcut opens. Okay. There are more to go. We don't know how many more. It's gotta be more than three. to the pull out your laptop and open Unreal Ed to see if that double jump sound is actually the mercenary landing sound. That would be funny if we now can't escape Unreal sound effects, whereas normally we can't escape the Unreal cliff texture. Is that? That's probably where I started over there. Also, I can't help but wonder... What is this called? Edge of, of a... Edge of a Forgotten Monument. Okay, that's not anything. Oh, hello. Okay, can I get over to there from here? There's also another zombie all the way up there. I landed there. Too bad I didn't also land the jump. I've been down there. Will that kill me? Sir, why are you here? This didn't count as a secret, but it made the secret noise. Not expect to jump. Okay, that's a secret. I, did I get a nail gun before this, or is that the first one I've picked up? That's also a secret, okay. My first jump didn't actually come out there, it immediately counted as a double jump, even though it was the first jump, so I must have left the ground early. Oops. Okay, that was the one we got. Did it again, fortunately that's still enough. Two more to go now. Alright, where was that rocket launcher, though? I completely whiffed that. I don't really want to hit that yet. It's 
looks like it's intended to be a shortcut. Wait a Probably gonna open that door then. Yep. Oh, oh yep, alright. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Interesting place for switches. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh, go figure. That's actually where I'm going next. Uh. I'd kind of like to see if there was actually more up there. Okay, that's how I fell through it. Is that actually retracted? I'm wondering if there was a thing up there or what? Guess we're not finding out now. That was weird. I pressed F2 and nothing happened. Jeez, don't forget to do that. Uh, is that a portal back out? This has given me vibes from the bottom of that, uh... The Egyptian-themed map by... Was it Redfield? Like, that, that part at the bottom that had the platform that you ended up falling through? Okay, yes, that is a way back out. I don't actually need to go out but right now, I just wanted to find out if that's what that was. I really don't need this health. Okay. Oh, this is probably the end of the map, okay. So there was just one last hurrah with the, uh, the spike trap there. Well, three out of five secrets isn't too bad. I guess I can live with that. It's nice that they do give you a way back if you want to go find more stuff. Oh, I see. We have to go through the door again. Oh, did I end up playing that on hard because you have to pick the arduous path to go in there? I guess I might have. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Yeah, you're you're very unlikely to not pick hard. All right, well that's fun. That map wasn't too bad, considering. So let's try central logistics. Is this going to be base themed then? It sure is. And we've got a silver key door right there. Okay, this did not dump the jump boots on me right at the start, the way the other one apparently did. Uh... What? Oh. Okay. I don't know what, what the jibbing sounds were about, though. But something died. There's your targets. That's a secret? Okay, that's a generous secret. I 
like that's barely a secret. That looks like it's supposed to be a lift, but it doesn't matter anyway. Uh. Alright. Don't know that there would be anything. Can I get over there from here? Yeah, I guess I can. But we're not supposed to be over here yet. So let's go over here. Oh, he dodged. This is a very void map. Uh, not sure what I'm expecting to do from there. Should probably save that one for last. Oh, okay. There's the other one, okay. supposed to manage that. Oh, right, I need to jump. Nope. I should be able to jump back to that, since that's what I jumped to that from to begin with. Like, I don't know why that counts as a secret when you pretty much have to get here anyway. Unless, was this not open except for something else I did? I don't know. How do you get back to that platform? There we go. Warehouse 31D accessible. This is a secret area too. Okay, everything is a secret apparently. What was I actually supposed to do in this map if this was all secret? Because apparently I'm finding them all by accident. Got some full bright pixels on these. dead, so I guess this will work. Maybe. Yeah, let's just pretend that was completely intentional. 31D locked on- oh, that's probably that. Okay. Ow. If that's all that was in there, though, then, like, seriously, what, what was the point of me going in there if not those things? That still says locked from the other side. Wait. Then that- I didn't go down there, did I? I went to the top, but not to the bottom. I'm supposed to go down here. There's your damn key. Uh, what? Oh. That's awkward. Okay. Why not just open the door? So that was the only thing you had to do in there. 
The only reason I skipped the silver key was because I didn't bother noticing the silver key. I feel like I've heard this music before. Used for something else. Is that super jump boots? We haven't actually seen those anywhere else. That is super jump boots. How long is a limited time? That's your answer. Oh no, and then I have no jump boots. What? It took them away entirely, but it also respawned the gold jump boots. Uh... Now, the thing is, this isn't a siren sound. This is actually part of the music. The siren sound last weekend was part- was actually a siren sound in the map. So, that kind of sucks. Like, that seems like a bug. If you pick these up and then they expire, you don't- like, your original jump boots are gone. Which seems very wrong. Yep, that's also counting as a secret. Oh, right, you can only freaking... You can only carry one at a time. Oh, there's... There's more down here, okay. That's good, so you don't get soft locked out of it. Hey, Zachy, thanks for the raid. Hope uh, Final Fantasy XIV went well. Wait, there was health there. I should get that. again, or why is there another switch there? Can I actually get back to where those boots are? Nope. Oh, it warps you back. I thought that was a death pit. It's not. Okay. In that case, I can understand. At least they've accounted for the fact that you lose your boots entirely. Okay, that's probably the exit. A rather pointless secret area already at the end of the map. I missed one secret, but I'm okay with that. Now we stop the timer, because now we're actually done with all of the maps.
Although, actually... Good, the two fights you've already cleared again, and you're working on the next one now. Alright. Let me start the timer up one more time, because I want to confirm whether I got both of the secrets in the start map, because it says there's two of them. So one of them is this. Or not? I thought one of them was that. Is this different? Did they already change the platforming? Oh, well that's nice. There was a frickin' post right in the way. Actually... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, let me just go re-clear- oh, it doesn't even matter, let's just do that. Uh, so this is the only pack we've been playing tonight so far. But it's been pretty darn interesting, it's more of an exploration type thing. I mean, there's still enemies, but... Okay, yeah, so there's a bridge here now. Let's try going the different paths, because this is what Mopey Bloke was alluding to before, where, like, the platforming actually changes based on what difficulty you select. Alright, well, that seems identical. What about hard? Oh, hard also, like, puts things in the middle of the bridge, but... That doesn't really make things any harder, but if you go over here to Nightmare, then they make things difficult. And once you pick Nightmare, it says there's no going back, and, and they're right, because, like, you have to... You, you can't switch difficulties after that. The other switches don't work. Uh, I think this glitched out. I think there's not supposed to be a bridge here right now. Well, oops. Because there definitely wasn't a bridge there before. But, okay, that, that still doesn't... That still doesn't account for either of the secrets in the start map, though. And this did not count as one of them either, so what the heck are the secrets in the start map? Like, now that's the one thing I haven't figured out, is, like, the secrets here. And I'm kind of curious about that. Switch, okay, it didn't switch to normal. Yeah, so that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, that's that's what I expected, was to have normal selected. It's still, yeah, okay. There's something weird about this. This room doesn't reset properly when you switch levels. Or is it because of which switch you press? It's because of which switch you press, that's what it is. Okay. But, like... What are the secrets in this start map? that down again. What? 
Oh, you can reset the start map just by stepping in there. All right, that's interesting. But yeah, it says there's two secrets and I don't know what they are. It would be it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if you could get the jump boots somewhere in the start map. Once you drop down there, you actually go into the first map. Seriously, don't know where the secrets are, though. Doesn't seem like there's anything out here. Okay, yeah, this is the other room. See if there's anything whatsoever in here. Stand tall on the three points, receive a gift from the gods. What? How would you even get over here? As the wind normally blows you back. And this is a secret area? I guess I should have actually stopped running the timer when I finished the thing. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll change it to list that way accordingly when I put it on the site later, but... I kind of wanted to give a shot to figuring out these secrets before I consider it done, though. But yeah, like, how are you supposed to get to where those are? Because this just always blows you back. And I, I almost wonder whether whether you're supposed to reach those in the actual level rather than here, but... But if that were the case, why would they actually list it as a secret here and everything? But how else would you go about getting in there? for this one. Is this actually a prerequisite for doing that? I wonder. Are these referring... Is this what the three points are referring to? Or Wait, these were solid before. Yeah, so these... These actually were modified when you chose Nightmare difficulty as well. That's actually pretty interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if that's what standing on the three points was supposed to mean. I think those were the three, like, head statues before. Oh, yeah, and it actually, like, covers up that... Entirely. Yeah, so you have to take the hard path. It's 
is why I saved, because I figured I wouldn't botch that. So I did already do this. That still blows you back. Can I blow it from one side to the other? Uh, not really. <laughs> Wait, why am I on skill zero now? I picked Nightmare. <laughs> what? How the hell am I on skill zero? This thing is so buggy. How did I manage to be on skill zero when I picked Nightmare? Yeah, that time it said skill three. Okay. Let's try something else, though. Oh, that's not what I want to do. What if I stand on these guys without picking Nightmare? Come on. Because if, if this isn't what it means by the three points, then I don't know what the hell it means. Well, I'm pretty sure that didn't do anything. Yeah, it just knocks you into the pit no matter what. Alright, so let's try something else. I'm curious whether... So those do still say the same thing here. And this is also a secret here. Oh, and it gives you the nail gun. Maybe it's a bug? I never did get this secret, but maybe that's a bug in the start map. Like, maybe it got copy-pasted from here. That's kind of weird, though. Oh, so even if you do get up here, it's just time to prove myself no getting- no turning back now. Alright, that's fun. That's true, I should have been able- once I got the jump boots, which you would get right here. <laughs> I totally could have just done this, and that's how you get that. But then what does stand tall on the three points supposed to mean? Yeah, even this health is back. That was also copy-pasted. Because that was in the start map as well. I don't know if I can possibly get up there. Seems like probably not. Alright. I'm gonna stop the timer now, because I have to I have to assume that that's just unintentional. That there's two secrets listed in the start map. That's kinda weird. Other than that though, this this was a really cool pack to play through. And I guess what we could do. we could do is, let's actually go back here, I'm not going to run the timer for this. But we can try going in on Nightmare just to see how different it is. See if we recognize any changes. Oh, right. There are still only five enemies, so the enemy count has not changed at all on this level. The 
Does this look slightly different? How am I supposed to get up there? I feel like this is already slightly different because I don't remember that being. Like that. How am I supposed to get high enough to get up there? Let me make sure I'm not, like, delusional. If I restart this on skill one, does this actually change? Yeah, because this, wait, unless I just completely ignored that switch. No, this is seriously the first platform you land on. And yeah, that normally brings that down. That wasn't here, was it? No, they took that switch away. Okay. Did they put it somewhere else? Or is that just it now? And you have to get up there somehow. How the hell are you supposed to do that? <laughs> Oh, it's down here. That's rude. Or maybe that has nothing to do with it. Never mind. Yeah, I think that had nothing to do with it. That's just a secret that I totally didn't find last time. Then how the hell do you even start this map? What am I missing? So they definitely do change stuff. Like, I'm expecting there to be a slope for me to launch off of, and the only thing I see is that. But that seems very unlikely to be enough to do the job. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh? I don't think so. I don't get how you're supposed to get up there, so... I can't fathom that working, but that's the only slope I'm seeing anywhere. What else am I missing? Why is this step here? That's kind of weird. Okay, see, that could have worked, but... you would do this. Well, go figure. It's a nightmare. It's so impossible I can't get past the first room. Unless there's something completely different that I should be doing. Same thing again. 
that lowered both of the. Wait a minute. What? I didn't realize that lowered both of them. Okay, so it becomes a timed thing then. I'm gonna miss it. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, right, we have to do this from up there. I completely botched that. I guess we're trying this again on Nightmare, at least, at least the first level. Curious how much else they changed. That was supposed to count. I didn't quite make it up there. But I'm not sure what I even bonked on. Oh, I actually did need to write that all the way up. I'm surprised they didn't make this time. This is technically the end of the first level. I forget what's down there. Oh right, this is the other side of this. Uh, isn't there usually a bio suit here? Did they take that out in Nightmare? So you basically have no choice but- Oh no, it's over here. say, like, you can't possibly get out of there fast enough. Well, 
the rest of this level, other than that first room, the rest of this seemed the same. So now I'm not sure how much changed. This might have more enemies than last time. It might have been 40 enemies, not 50. On uh, normal. First room. That's so weird. I don't know if that robot was there last time. Oh, what? That counted as the double jump. It ate my initial jump. That sucked because it took all the free hits in the world. me. I'm just a fish in a barrel. as I was making it. platforming for that. Ow. 
Yeah, I, I got kind of blown up by that, didn't I? of my double jump coming out when I thought I was just jumping to begin with. Wasn't there armor down here last time? You piece of shit! Did he come underwater? What a jerk! Alright. That's enough of that. I'm, I gotta remember, I'm playing on Nightmare too, so, uh... So enemies are gonna be way more shooty. Uh, it seems weird to me that they changed the very first room of the whole episode, and then didn't change anything else. You're <laughs> floating underwater. Yeah, how does his, how does his, you know, air scooter not short out? <laughs> what depth did they test those to? Anyway, this is a really cool pack, though, and I can definitely see why there have been multiple jump jams um, based on it. And we are going to play the first of those jump jams immediately hereafter. Uh, but let me bring up the reviews for this first, and let's see what folks said about it. At least he wasn't inside the wall. Yeah, you remember that one. <laughs> Was that... Did that happen to me in um, Telefragged or something? I forget. I feel like it might have been in Telefragged that that happened. Alright, so Jump Mod 2 and Triune Discovery. That pack centered around a jump boost item that adds a double jump ability. There are five levels set in Mayan Ruins and... I thought it was Aztec, thank you. Uh, in canyons and caves, military bases, and, cr and a crumbling castle. It also features a few custom monsters from Rubicon 2, new skyboxes, and music tracks. The QC and map sources are included. Spirit says I, was, I love the concept of this. Vazia says very nice, relaxing maps, very interesting improvement for Quake's gameplay. Uh, Palm Lee X says absolutely wonderful little map pack full of lovely details and dripping with atmosphere, which takes full advantage of the new ability. Jump jupes, uh, jump boots. What? I can't talk anymore. On offer. The Mayan texture work is ex exquisite, really adds to the believability of the world, and features totally, it feels totally natural in the Quake universe, as if there was always a Mayan chapter. I swear the texture pack said Aztec, but okay. Really creates a sense of place. The design of the maps is a delightful combination of exploration, platforming, and just enough combat to keep things interesting. It's a combo of mechanics, design, and environment that I've been looking for for a long time with custom quake mapping, and the creation really, this creation really gave me my fix. The custom music is also incredibly well chosen and fits the environments perfectly. The gameplay may not be for everyone potentially, but this map pack is an instant classic in my view. It's a must play, especially if you're into more puzzle platforming exploration style. Five stars. Yeah, and I definitely enjoyed the exploration aspect of it, like... Anything that get, that gets it feeling more Metroidvania is certainly something that would be up my alley. Uh, AAS says... Bug report, it is not possible to rate this map. I guess that was a Quedicted problem. Same rating for me, hopefully Quedicted's upgrade will allow me to rate this officially. This new power-up... Fits beautifully into Quake's universe and uh, opens new possibilities, which were perfectly explored in the January Jump Jam pack. All right, that's one vote of confidence for what we're going into next. Uh, Greenwood says it's a downright shame that you can't rate this mod map pack. Anyway, I highly recommend this. It's well thought out, nicely designed, and a lot of fun. I'm trying to remember, was Greenwood in? I think Greenwood contributed to the January Jump Jam in 2020. There's a lot of names that we we will recognize on it. Um, 
Mark Timothy Moses. I had to parse that name several times to get that right. Said I should try this mod. Quancho says, wow, I have no words. This is the most original and fun mod I ever played in Quake. Thank you so much, JCR. Okay, Spirit fixed ability to raid it. Triple Agent says, Montezuma meets Quake. In terms of visual aesthetics, the mod is amazing as well as impressively coherent. Telling a clear narrative through environmental design, despite cross-weaving together themes of different demeanors. I applied the conscious use of, applaud the conscious use of assets. The jump pack technology is outstanding. It adds a ton of valuable gameplay mechanics. The best thing that happened to Quake mod-wise since the Shadow Axe and the Triple Barrel Shotgun of Arcane Dimensions. That's that's a fun thing to uh, to put it in league with, yeah. The platforming elements in the campaign are supreme. It's understandable that that was the point of focus for the creator. The combat throughout the scenario takes a back seat mostly. I agree with that assessment. Even though, don't underestimate the final boss fight. It is a treat that will give you... <laughs> what? Really? Blue Ball's totally worth it. The music is very interesting and noteworthy. I, I See, I don't agree with the boss battle. Like... And I don't even know what he means by that. Uh, but yeah, the bo oh god, I don't even want to think about that boss battle on Nightmare, because then you get the frickin' nail gun dudes in there, too. At the end. Um, yeah, I didn't enjoy the Thon fight. A at first, it seemed like it would be an interesting... Uh... An interesting thing to try, given the new mechanic, but... I could have done without the switches being on such long timeouts, then maybe it would have been... Tolerable. The music is very interesting and noteworthy as an original attempt of the developer himself. I mean, that, no. The developer himself didn't make the music. Albeit I was hesitant about making my mind whether the soundtrack did the gameplay amb game ambience much service. All, altogether, I recognize the mod takes priority in exploration of the jump pack mechanics for which it deserves major accolades. Alex has truly awesome immersive episode, very moody and stylish. Kind of a mix of Indiana Jones with sci-fi hostile atmosphere. Recommend to all Quake lovers who want to experience something unusual and more peaceful. 5 out of 5. I'm hoping that that will be the case with the, the Jump Jam itself, also. Like, I'm okay with the combat taking a back seat when there's something like this that allows you to push the envelope on exploration a lot more than Quake would normally allow you to do.